Welcome back sports fans. It's the early signing period for non football related sports and several young ladies didn't wait to make their college plans official. We have half a dozen brand new commits to introduce to you right about now. Here we go. Veterans Mackenzie Walls is going to run cross country and track in the ACC at Georgia Tech. Kenzie is a four time county and region champ, back to back top three state finisher and a 2019 3200 meter state champion. Her classmate Stacy Jones is headed to Kennesaw State after racking up 21 double doubles on the basketball court. She is 79 points and 126 rebounds shy of 1,000 each for her career, averaging 15 and 13 per contest as a junior with countless region and county honors as well. Straight out of Beastman, Anaya Black is a three-sport star athlete at Dodge County competing in softball, basketball, and track and field. She played shortstop for the Lady Indians and helped lead them to four straight region championships and three Elite Eight appearances in Columbus while maintaining a 517 batting average her senior year. Anaya will run bases in the SEC while hunkering down and signing to play softball at Georgia. Over in Houston County, they boast a trio of softball bears headed to the next level, including first-year starter Deja Dunn, who is taking her all-county, all-region 327 batting average to the Fort Valley State to be a student athlete for the Wildcats. <laughs> Left fielder Lauren Ross was a three-year starter who landed all-county, all-region, and all-state honors with 23 doubles on the season and a 385 batting average. Ross will suit up for the Middle Georgia Lady Knights next season. And former 13 WMAZ Athlete of the Week selection, Maddie Campbell, is soaring to Statesboro, taking her talents to Georgia Southern. Maddie has been a fixture on the Diamond starting every season while in high school, earning every level honors, including Region Player of the Year. She led the team with 186 hits, coupled with a near 500 batting average at 486. Congratulations to all early signees across Central Georgia.